giving you pro tips here on City Line. So you always see spaces that just have those finishing touches that just make it look like a pro has gone through the space. You're going to give us some of these insider tips right now. I so am. We can do, so we can have our homes looking just so beautifully finished like a pro came through. Well, yeah, exactly. Right? With, with a few hacks to make it easier for people yes. like us that maybe aren't a pro in everything we do. Okay. So the first idea is tufting. So traditionally, tufted headboards are absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Right? And they add a lot of sophistication to a bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, and they can be quite expensive to buy. And they look hard. They do look hard. They and look actually, hard. the real way to do it is a little bit complicated because you've All got right. the wood, you've got the tufting, you've got foam that you actually have to have a hole drilled through. You're feeding a needle up through into these into these buttons, tying the button, pulling it in. Okay. Some people are really, really good at that. Yeah. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> so I've got another much easier way to create the same effect. Okay, good. And all you need, so I'll, I'll lift up the layers here so you can see. You do have a board. I have another one on just in case I drill through. I always put an extra piece mm. on a table when I'm working because you, you don't want to have holes in your countertops. Nope. Uh, which is where I often work. You've got a nice, thick two-inch piece of foam some batting, and then this gorgeous linen. You do not staple it around the piece first. That's the last thing okay. you do, because if you're doing that, you're not gonna have that extra fabric to tuck into these spots. Okay. Okay, next thing is you have some screws that are about the same depth as the board. Okay. S slightly less. Hold that up for us and we're Can just gonna get it? a shot of that. Okay. So you go in and get the screws and they're, they're about the same depth that you're looking for. And to you want a nice through. sized head on it. Okay. But to make it even bigger, grab a washer and slide that in there as well. Okay. okay. Good. And then all you're going to do, you will have measured this out ahead of time, of course, mm -hmm. um, which I tentatively did at home, so let's hope this is the right spot here. And you take your drill, and you're just going to really slowly at first get it in there. Yo, yeah. and you're doing the tuft thing right now. And you're going to actually speak. create the tuft by drilling this screw into the fabric all the way down yeah. into the wood. Nice. So you've got Look that, that right effect. So yeah, the yeah. tuft is done. All you the have to do is cover done. that up. Exactly. It's incredible. So instead of feeding the needle up through those buttons, you've got your covered buttons that are in exactly the same fabric. Yeah. And you just add a lot of hot glue here to that center piece that juts out. I love how you get away with not sewing anything. It's, you're my it's favorite a gift. for that. It's a gift. <laughs> it's truly and a then gift. you really you're gonna hold that in there for a couple of minutes just to let it harden. Can you show us what it looks like just yep. if you were to take away your see, look at that. See? So you get that exact that same effect excellent. with such less effort. Yes. It's so much easier. I don't recommend necessarily gluing the buttons on if you're gonna be doing a bench that you're sitting on. Um, okay. just if there's lots of friction happening on there, they may pop off. But on your headboard. That's true. Have at it. Well, yeah, exactly. They may pop off too, but nobody will be seeing it except for you. Um, and you can get all of the materials for this from Mac Fab Sews, and yes. you can add other items on there too. Uh, if you go to a sewing shop, they've got these great nail heads that are so yes. much easier than those individual ones that you're used to nailing on. Lovely. You can add some finishing trims and different ropes, or actually have some fabric ones made in yeah. a contrasting color. So there's so many other ways that you can even elevate that more. Lovely. And I love the nail head. That's Me nice. Too. So you can get a strip of it. Exactly. It's That'll, so much easier. Yeah, that's so much easier. Okay, what else do you have? So, Finishing touches. Yeah, tassels are all the rage right tassels. now. So you probably already have lots of pattern cushions at home. You don't want to have to go out and buy new ones that yeah. have tassels on them. So right. I picked up these beautiful pattern ones from H&M Home. Mm. They're really great, but they don't have any tassels. Okay. So all you need to do is get a piece of cardstock and cut it about six inches long, mm -hmm. maybe by about three or four inches wide. Depending on how big you want your tassel to be? Yeah, exactly. And okay. uh, depending on the thickness of your yarn, you're going to use yarn for this, you're going to wrap it 50 to 60 times. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. And then once you've wrapped it around, you're going to cut off that extra piece. Yeah. And this is so, so, so simple. You take another one, feed it through the top. Can you see what I'm doing there? And you're going to tie it in a knot. I'll hold it for you. Thank you. Just like that. Okay. All you do is cut the bottom. Oh, and is that your tassel? It is, but I need better scissors for this one. All Sorry. of your scissors are so gorgeous. Well, they need to be functional too, though. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's good if they work as well. Yeah, exactly. So you're going to double knot the top. You take one other piece of yarn and about an inch down from this one, once I get it here, you're going to do exactly the same thing. You're just going to tie it around. So you get both going on. While you do that, I'm going to show them, Al, the very final 
cushion right there with the tassels. That is DIY, so you don't have to buy new tassels, Sarah. Thank you so exactly. much.